Does anybody else in the audience have another question that they'd like to ask us before I pose my own question to the group? Over here, please. I think this will have to be our last question. OK. OK. No pressure. Um, I, I was, uh, I've been in the industry for probably about 20 years, and I've seen a lot of change in orthopedics. And the speakers on hip and knee, I've been involved um, in hip and knee for a long time. My concern is with the industry and, and pushing the envelope of, of um, advancement. One of the issues I think we're going to face with the new MDR, with post AS, uh, the, the ASR issues, is, is the more regulations that are going to come in and how that's going to slow down the advancement in the future. I don't know how the panelists feel about that, but I'm excited about robotics, but uh, as Dr. Jacobs just explained, it, the, the, there has to be evidence-based. It's going to cost a lot of money to advance. And my concern is the industry, how I've seen it um, go very quickly and, and, and have some more advancements in technology. I think now through the new MDR, that's going to change. And I think that's going to slow a lot down and it's going to cost a lot more money. So I think we'll see a, a big slump in advancements. And unfortunately, in the early years of my career, there has been mistakes, there has been uh, problems, but that's created an advancement in what's happening. But I wanted to see what the panel thought about that and how how we can, as an industry, you know, keep innovating, but keep safe um, is one of my concerns of how we can keep that speed that, that orthopedics has had in the past. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll take a crack at that. And, and, you know, our regulatory agencies, the MDR and case of the UK, the FDA in the case of the US, um, they have a very difficult job, almost an impossible job. And I've, I've had a lot of interactions with uh, FDA folks over the years in various roles, and uh, I've advised them on the metal-metal issue, among other things. Uh, and striking that balance between innovation and safety is a real challenge, particularly when we don't have the science to do it. And so one of the ways that I would advocate going forward is that we need a more robust regulatory science. We need to have ways to predict how implants are going to do and not run the experiment by putting them in patients as much. It's, it's always going to be an experiment. We're always going to be doing simulations. But we have to work on our regulatory science approach to make our simulations have more and more fidelity. And that's some of what I was saying about what the future could hold for us, is to have preclinical testing much more uh, nuanced, much more based on analysis of failure mechanisms, uh, using the advances where we get from some of the big data approaches, uh, having much more information on phenotype, genotype, omics, information on potential biological factors leading to failure. As, as we come up with better predictive modeling, I think we can do a better job in producing safer implants. But that's going to take a concerted effort by a lot of scientists, regulatory agencies and, and, and other stakeholders. I, I would just like to add, can I just one last thing? You know, I, I think the challenge that we're, that we're going to face in the near future is that, you know, customization is happening. It, it's, you know, it's, it's, you're going to see more and more custom implants. And how do we regulate that? How do we test those? How do we decide kind of what the bookends are of, of custom implants? And then also um, new manufacturing techniques like 3D printing, which is rapidly evolving. Like these machines are changing very quickly. The technology is changing. So, you know, how do we how do we regulate that? I think those are going to be huge challenges that I don't think the regulatory bodies have really figured out yet. Yes, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you all for joining us. Dr. Poolstra and Dr. Yunus will be speaking in the Surgeon Pod later today, and I'm sure these gentlemen uh, will be sticking around to answer your questions. So thank you all very much for sharing your insight with us.